Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be color shifting my 1998 Dodge Ram. And first we're going to have to fix some dents. This was originally a concrete truck. So they use this to throw all the broken concrete in. Yeah, the harness over there. But yeah. So we're going to have to sand everything down. I'm going to try to fix this major dent. I got a sander over here I bought at Walmart. It's 20 bucks. And I got already uh, some... I think this is 220 grit on here. Yeah, this is two, no, this is 60. Uh, this is 60 grit, yeah, because I'm going to sand that down. So, first things first, we're going to sand. That's what I got so far. I'm gonna fill this in with Bondo. I'm gonna get the rest of that rust out first. Well, this is with a uh, 80 grit, just knocking off all the hard chips. This was for a uh, cement truck. I just threw all the broken cement back here. So, got a lot of dings here and there. I'm just trying to get it as smooth as possible so I can lay some paint on it. Just trying to get it to look good again. So, yeah, all right, stay tuned. Looks like they used Bondo before. Alright, so now to get this. I'm using this one. Got a wire brush on it. Let's so see how that works out on it. Alright, so now I'm wiping it down with some acetone. And I'm going to be spraying it with this. And I'm going to sand it again. I'm going to spray all the bare metal spots. Kind of like up here. All that, all the bare metal. I'm going to spray that with primer. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'm also going to use this adapter piece. So, should help out a bit. Alright, everything's all sanded down. Took off the headlight, or the taillight. Sanded all this, sprayed it with some dust coat to find all the dents. So most of the dents are right here, and then little dings up here. Dings here. Little ding there. And then little fill spots. So, I'm going to put some Bondo now. I'm gonna mix in the plate and I'm gonna smear it on. Right, stay tuned. Alright, I got the bondo on there now. I'm gonna let it dry. It's a little rough. I'm not good at body work. But I'm gonna sand it down flat then once it's all dry. Looks like it might start raining, so we'll see. But yeah, stay tuned. pretty much flush <clears throat> you want to make sure that when you go like that with your finger you feel no lines and I feel nothing right here you feel it on something like like right here because it's not sanded it's only sanded up here see it so I'm gonna finish sanding down the bondo and then we're gonna start spraying the, the base all right so this is all sanded down smooth now I'm going to start sanding the rest of the body. Sanding it with all 220 grit across the whole body because it's pretty rough. Got some deep scratches, scuff marks. Can't wait to get to the hood. That should be fun. But I'm going to sand the whole truck down now with 220 grit. All right, now I'm sanding the hood.
the parts that I wanted sand sanded. So far it's looking alright. It's gonna have a couple dings in it. I'm not a body guy, so uh right here it has a lot of dents. It's got dings all over it. Dent right here, here, right here, right here. But I'm just gonna tape it off and we'll continue on tomorrow I guess. Yeah, everything's sanded now. It's all with 220 grit. And then some of the harder spots I use like a 60 grit to knock off the paint. But it should look good. Here's what it looks like right now. I'm not gonna paint the door jams. It looks like someone used Bondo before right here too. So it is kind of dented in. I might just put some Bondo tomorrow and make it flat. And then we'll go from there. Not too many dents on here or on the hood, which is good. So this I'm going to take off tomorrow and I'm going to uh, strip this. I'm going to take the paint off of this. I might color match it with the truck. We had a whole truck sanded with 220 grit. Rougher spots I use like 60 grit because the paint was like flaking off in most spots. And to get off the glue on the, the badge and this thing. So I just took my flathead put it behind it and then pop it out. I wouldn't recommend doing that on a normal car. Use uh, fish wire and then use this to get the glue off. And then sand it with uh, 220 grit so it's nice and smooth. All right, now we're gonna be mixing up the Bondo. on this one. I got it down to the bare metal. I'm just gonna paste it on. There we go. I'm gonna do that to all the bare metal spots on this hood real quick. So that's what that looks like. Give me a sec. Alright, here you go. Got those all patched up. Now I'm going to let it dry for about half hour. Now I'm going to sand it with some 80 grit and I'm going to get it down to smooth. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so now we're going to sand down this spot. I normally recommend like 80 grit. I'm going to do it with the 120 at first. So let me go get that 120 grit. Touch it. Oh yeah, because the low spot used to be right here. It had a big dimple. Now it's flush. I'm gonna sand it a little bit more and then all we have to do is spray some primer on these uh, spots. I'm gonna sand the rest of the hood. pretty decent sized dent right here. I'm gonna uh, sand it down to bare metal. I'm gonna fill this with some body filler and I'm trying to get it flush as I can. So remember, I'm not a body guy. I'm just doing this, learning it on my own. So if you got any tips, just let me know down in the comments. All right, so I got 80 grit on my sandpaper. I wanna get this down to bare metal quick. Far enough back. It's down 
to the bear. Oh yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna get some body filler. I'm gonna fill that up real quick. I won't record that part, but basically just fill it. Just gonna take it and just wipe it down, make it flush as I can, and I'm gonna sand it. All right. So this is where I left off. I'm gonna have to sand it down a little bit and see if I can still feel a divot. I can still feel a little dimple right here, kind of. But let me sand this all down. I'm gonna do it with like 120 grit this time and feather it out. <coughs> get it as flat as I can get it. But the whole truck's looking good. Most of the door panels are dent free. I just gotta sand this down a lot more because I can still feel the texture. This I'm gonna sand down with uh, 220 grit and we should be all right there. Truck's looking great. I kind of want to lower it, but or just leave it how it is. But we'll see. But let me get uh, finishing with this. I'm gonna probably bond with this whole hole because I'm not gonna use the antenna probably. I want to try to get one of those uh, shorter ones, but I'm probably just gonna try to fill this hole and make it straight as possible. Uh, I gotta flatten this a little bit more, and we're almost done. The doors are pretty dent-free for the most part. Doesn't have any hard things or nothing, which is nice. It's just mostly on the bed, like right here. All these dents, like right here, right here. Yeah, it's all over. But I wanna also just get some practice in. I'm not a body guy, so I'm not good with body work. But I'm trying, still learning. So I'm gonna get my block sand and do this by hand. I'm gonna sand this and see how flush I can get it. Stay tuned. So I sanded the whole thing down with 320 grit. I got some spots with metal. I'm gonna be primering the whole truck. And then I'm gonna probably sand it down again. So I'll take a step by step of everything I do. So right now we're gonna end up uh, taping all the windows. I'll take off the tail lights, tape the headlights. I'm gonna take this off. I'm not gonna probably keep this bumper. This bumper's all messed up. I'm just gonna paint it for now, but don't expect me to keep that bumper for long. I did a test spray with the Chameleon and it came out like glass. It looks really good. I didn't even prep this or anything. I just wiped it down real quick and then sprayed some uh, pearls, color shifting. It looks pretty damn good. Well, here's what it looks like right now. We'll go around the whole truck. Birds. It's got dings and dents all over it. I don't plan on fixing all of them. It's not a show truck. Fix this major dent though. That was a huge one right here. This was all the way caved in. Got it nice and smooth. This is nice and smooth now. I sprayed a primer all over the truck. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna tape up windows and then I'll show you afterwards. Stay tuned. All right guys. So we're gonna be painting the truck today. This is what it looks like right now sand the whole thing with 320 grit now I'm gonna have to primer it I'm gonna have to sand this back down because it's been about a day or two so the rust came back I'm gonna sand it with 320 grit the whole truck and then I'm gonna tape up the windows and everything else that I don't want painted so this is what it looks like right now taking off the tail lights everything I'm not gonna paint the inside of the bed that's gonna get rhino line it does still have some dings but I'm not too worried about it. This is a work truck. I just want to get it in better shape. There was a huge dent on the other side, which I repaired with some Bondo. Remove the letters, so it's nice and flush and smooth. Antenna was broken. I don't know, someone previously did uh, some Bondo job and it did horrible. I'm gonna sand it back down, get it as flush as I can. But, yeah. So now I'm gonna sand this whole thing and then I'll cut you back on after I did that, and then have all the windows taped and mirrors. All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys, me and my girlfriend finished taping the windows, covered the radiator, because you don't want to get paint on that. This bumper, I don't plan on keeping. I am going to get rid of it later, so I'm not too worried about this bumper. I'm more worried about the rest. I'm not worried about this uh, dented fender, because I am going to get a different one later, and I'm going to spray paint the car again a different color later. So I just want to start getting some practice painting. But yeah, we sanded the whole truck down with 320 grit. And for like heavier spots, uh, 
that had like some concrete stuck on it. I used like 60 grit and a file. I had to take a file. So right now my girl's wiping down the car. Uh, you want to take a tack rag if you have one too. And I got to find something to cover these wheels. I don't have nothing big enough. So I'm going to probably use like an old t-shirt or something. Like I said, this is going to get rhino lined, so I'm not worried about the bed. The bed's all messed up. It's got dents all over it. You can't see it right now, but I'm pretty sure once I sprayed a pearl in the clear coat, you'll see it. But it should still look good. Here's where one of the major <laughs> dents was. Right here. I mean, this thing was huge. It was like a, it looked like a baseball went inside. It like hit a pretty deep hole in here, so yeah. Uh, gotta close this door all the way because I'll forget. Okay. But yeah, it's nice and flat. Jeez. This is the only spot of the truck that I use Bondo. <laughs> the rest, uh, I didn't wasn't too worried about it. There's dents all over this thing because it was a work truck for a concrete. They just threw all the broken slabs in the back. So, so everything else is looking good. The hood's nice and flat. Primered all the bare metal. Like I said, this bumper, I'm not worried. I'm gonna spray it uh, probably black anyways, just to give it a nice fresh paint. It was chrome before. Uh, so, yeah. All right guys, so now I'm gonna get to mixing the primer and I'll show you the primer I'm using. All right, so this is the primer I'm using. It's a high tech, it's one to one. Acrylic lacquer. So I'm using that and also using some decent quality uh, lacquer thinner. These are the instructions for it that it came with. I'll be spraying around 40 to 45 PSI. I'm gonna spray at 40. I'm gonna do two to three wet coats, it says, allowing five to 10 minutes between each coat. That's not too bad. So, oh yeah, drying time, this is right here. Drying time is uh, 15, 20 minutes. So excessive film build and cool temperatures will extend dry time. So to seal it, use 400, top coat 600 or equivalent. So not too bad. And I'll be using this to spray the primer, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna clean it out and then spray the black, clean it out, and spray the pearls, clean it out, spray the clear coat. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. All right, so now I'm gonna use some tape on here. Primer, and then one part, lacquer thinner. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Okay.
I blew all the dust off and wiped everything down. So next thing we're gonna spray it up, the black base. After the black base is the pearls. The truck came out pretty good. It's got a lot of dings on it. Like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not a body guy. I just wanna see how this paint comes out and see if I can get it to come out pretty good. Like I know there's a lot of dents all over this because where all the rocks and stuff were hit. So, but I fixed a major dent here. Fix some dents. There was like little things here. A little bit of spot putty. Some here. I don't know. Like for some reason, this whole side right here got like pretty banged up. I'm happy I got this nice and flush. You can't even tell now. So once it's all sprayed, so I'm gonna have to retape this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish this because it's gonna rain on Saturday, and I definitely don't want it to rain on this. So now we're gonna go mix up some black paint and get spraying. Flash off. It's actually coming out pretty decent. Letting it flash, and once it flashes off, it should be like a satin looking finish. Doesn't look too bad. That guy told me when I spray it, it's not going to be like super mirror. You have to use clear coat with this, it's just a base. It looks pretty classy. Not too bad. Yeah, you can see all the dents. I didn't care about the dents. I'm not a body guy. I just want to see how the paint comes out. On the Camaro, I'm going to take my time now. I'm going to be using body filler and stuff. This is just a work truck. It's going to get beat up again. I just had some extra cash and I wanted to try out the paint. So it's over here, it's almost satin. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is dry. Nice and dry right here. All of this. I already sprayed this. Looks really good. And the clear is going to mix and go over the top. Ah, I keep getting bugs in it. Now all this should be pretty much almost dry right here. I think it's still wet, but look at this. Damn it. That's what I got to deal with. All right, I'm going to figure out how to get him. Oh, knock him off, but his wings are in there. Ooh, that's what I was worried about. Okay, whatever. We're going to have some dragonfly wings in it. So. I'm gonna get the clear all mixed up with the pearls. I think we're gonna be using 75 grams total. I only got 50 grams out here right now. I got the other 25 inside. So, let's 
start mixing it. And this is four parts uh, clear and then one part activator. clear after I sand it back down. Look at that. Ooh. Not bad. Every angle is like a different color, purple and blue, as you can see. Definitely gonna spray another coat of clear. I'm loving it. It's pretty good. Not bad for my first. Definitely another coat. Not a body guy, so yeah, imperfections. Just happy how it came out. Luckily, no runs. I'm proud of that. No runs. The grill's not all the way in yet. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna paint it or not, but I think it looks good, you know, a little contrast. 
bumper, like I said, I'm not worried about it. It's just painted black right now. But look at that. Look at that. Oh, Perfect. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I guess this is my kind of DIY how to paint your own truck chameleon color at home. Uh, it's not completely perfect, but I'm happy with the results. It's not a perfect show truck, you know, it's just the, the flop color I wanted to try out and it came out pretty good. Uh, it's just gotta have to watch out for like bugs. Bugs love the smell of paint for some reason. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be painting also my Honda and my Camaro, uh, different colors. So if you have an idea for a flip flop color you want to see, put it down in the comments below and I can see what I can do. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day guys. And also I'll have everything that I used down in the description below.